It is exactly one week today that my final first year exams start. They are all in this together and we've got this. And then I go in with my day planner, roughly time block my day. I really hope this gives me another spurt of energy. There is still a lot to do. During exam season, I like to start my day at 6.45 and jump straight out of bed without clicking that snooze button. I then quickly get ready and get on with an hour of revision before breakfast. Squeezing in an extra hour first thing in the morning really sets you on track for the rest of the day. And I really like to use this time to go through my Anki flashcards. At the moment, I've been using it to edit them and really check my understanding before focusing too much on the memorization side. It's so important to check you really grasp the concepts. I then headed downstairs to make myself a cup of coffee from my coffee machine and I just love starting my day with some caffeine and a big warming cup of coffee. I then of course made myself a big bowl of porridge using my overnight oat recipe because it wouldn't be starting my day right if I didn't have my famous overnight oat recipe for breakfast. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of year again. It is exam season and I've been starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed to say the least the last couple of weeks. It is exactly one week today that my final first year exams start and there is still a lot to do. I still feel like I really don't know a lot, but I know exactly what is going to make me feel better is bringing you all along for a productive study with me. And I really hope you like the sound of today's video. And if you do, it would mean the world if you could give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love if you decided to stick around, join the family and subscribe. Now we all know what the best place to start is with a plan. And this is my little weekly plan. So I've had this for, I don't know, the last couple of months really just planning my weeks and my revision so we are now on the final week before my exams and today I have planned RM which is my respiratory module and I'm also going to do some regional anatomy because that is my first exam and then I go in with my day planner roughly time block my day and also just write any little bits and bobs that I need to do throughout the day down on this list we also have a revision session this evening and I want to get to the gym as well so basically we're going to have a really productive positive day because my mindset has definitely not been in the best place but that is all about to change you have to talk to yourself nicely being doubtful not being positive is never ever ever helpful I then of course set my forest timer this just helps me to stay really focused and gives me something to work towards before putting on some white noise I actually really enjoy listening to the rain as background noise while I am revising or Disney instrumental music. I can't listen to music with words. I find it so distracting, but I love having some gentle, peaceful background noise whilst I'm working. I then got on with drawing these diagrams for regional anatomy to just help me really make sure I understood all the areas that I needed to know properly. This did take quite a long time, but it was really helpful in just consolidating my understanding and making sure I knew where everything was in different parts of the body. For the next hour, I just listen to this Q&A session for my respiratory module. I find going to question and answer sessions really helpful, even if you don't have any questions yourself. Listening to other people's questions really helps consolidate your understanding and making you think whether you understand those topics properly, as well as pointing out some areas you might have never thought of that you don't actually understand. So I just listened to this and edited my Anki flashcards with all of my notes on at the same time. I then spent the last hour before lunch doing some questions that we had been set for our module. These were really hard and as much as I would much rather just reread my notes and highlighting them, active recall is honestly the best way to test yourself, your understanding and actually to memorise things and it has been proven to be one of the most effective studying techniques. I always like to leave a week before my exams to just consolidate, go over topics that I found really hard and just bash out practice questions and act 
active recall we actually got set these quizzes which i haven't done yet and i've saved them for revision which is so helpful because i know they're going to be exactly the kind of information and things that we will be tested on by our lecturers i went through and organized right at the beginning all of the different topics for each different module and made sure that i did my anki flashcards for all of those so i'm definitely up to speed on the content i do want to go over on my anki flashcards and just do them for an hour today so i will do that this afternoon but basically it is really just about going through practice questions to actively test yourself i'm gonna do that but right now it is one o'clock and i need to go and get some food i am so hungry i'm just gonna have a little break reply to some emails probably go on my phone for a little bit and then get straight back to it after lunch for lunch, I just made these really easy tortilla crisps and what I did is just cut up a wrap and stick it in the oven for about 5-10 to 10 minutes and it means that you have a really simple healthy crisp alternative. I then made this meal prep earlier on in the week and had this lentil curry. Meal prepping really is key during exam season or just whenever you're busy to make sure that you don't just grab simple junk food and have really healthy but easy meals ready on hand for whenever you need them i just sat down and watched my favorite youtuber flossy and had a little bit of downtime to enjoy my food and relax so it's now two o'clock and i'm going to get back to work i'm going to do a couple of hours before i go and do a home workout days like this where i'm feeling a bit tired and my brain is just a little bit frazzled a little home workout in between revision is literally ideal it's just getting your body moving having a little break and just being physically active and not sat in this one little chair for hours and hours is so helpful so i'm going to make sure that i squeeze that in before my revision session but right now it is more practice questions. Whilst doing practice questions, it's really important to make sure you actually understand why you are getting things wrong or any topics that come up that you're not 100% sure on. I always like to think, could I explain this to a friend? And if I can't, then I need to go away, watch some YouTube videos or find some different resources to help me understand the topics a little bit better. Especially with multiple choice, it's really important to know why you got a question right, but also why each other one is wrong and using questions to your advantage to help you as much as possible. But it's now just gone 20 past at four and I'm going to head downstairs and do a little home workout. My brain today is just frazzled, like it really is. I really hope this gives me another spurt of energy and normally it does exactly the trick. I then did a home workout using the Tone and Sculpt app, which I absolutely love. They take all the stress away for you and tell you exactly what to do. Today was actually leg day and it was a really good session and I really enjoyed just getting moving for an hour. I then very quickly headed back upstairs to log on for the revision session on DPS, which is our Doctors in Society module. I made sure that I wrote a note of any topics that I was struggling with or didn't fully understand and went back over them the following day using the provided PowerPoints or going over my own notes. I find these so helpful to just consolidate your understanding and fully make sure you've covered every area that you're going to need to know for your exam that revision session has just finished it is now at seven and i'm getting so tired and so hangry but that revision session was so good it is run by the old years and our med sock and they are like the best thing in the world if you can get hold of old year notes or old year tips they are literally the best things they have been there they know what they're talking about like they know the kind of questions that are going to come up and i just find them so helpful so i'm going to those every single day this week but right now i just need to go and get some dinner and have a little bit of downtime I have just come up from dinner it is now eight o'clock and as you can see i've got into bed normally i would try and do another hour after dinner and that is what i normally do but it is so important to listen to your body in exam season like i am so tired today i've been tired 
all day and I just think I would really benefit from a little bit of downtime and everybody needs some downtime even in exam season. So I've got myself these little rosy toesies. I'm going to have a little bit of a pamper session, watch a little bit of TV and just chill out for the evening so that we can get up and we can go again tomorrow with a fresh head. But I really hope you did enjoy today's video and you found it helpful and motivating. Good luck anybody who has their exams coming up. I know you're going to smash it. We are all in this together and we've got this next time i see you it will be my first exam week video which is so scary i don't know where first year has gone how are these my first year exams but i'm so excited to bring you along and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those and seeing how i get along hopefully there won't be too many tears and good luck again and have an amazing week everyone and i'll see you all so soon bye